Almost all railway vehicles use bogies to carry and guide the body along the track. The main purpose of a bogie is to provide flexibility in steering, so the wheels can align themselves more closely with the track when the train goes around a curve. Every bogie has suspension system to protect the body from vibration. LHB bogie has a two-axle type with a primary and a secondary suspension system. In this video, we will learn secondary suspension and how it works. If you watching the first time, please check out the primary suspension video from the above link or check out the description box. The flexi coil springs used at the secondary suspension between the bogey and the body, these spring systems provide for the flexible mounting of the vehicle body and aid the comfort of passengers by isolating the vehicle from vibrations transmitted from the track. The secondary suspension consists of Bolster beam Internal spring External spring Centering disc Bogey frame Vertical damper Yao damper Lateral damper Anti-roll bar Traction rod Safety cables ETC Each spring pack is made up of an internal and external spring. An anti-roll bar fitted on the bogey frame realizes a constant reduced inclination coefficient during running. The bogey frame is linked to the bolster beam through two vertical dampers, a lateral damper, four safety cables, and the traction rods. The secondary suspension provides lateral and vertical displacements and rotation of the bogey with respect to the body when the train is running in the curves. The bogey frame is linked to the coach body through two Yao dampers. The bogey frame rests on the primary suspension spring and supports the vehicle body by the secondary suspension. The body load is transmitted through secondary suspension to the bogey frame and finally, the load is transmitted to the axle and wheels through the primary suspension. Friends, raise your finger and click the share button. To learn more about railway engineering,